Hi guys, welcome back. This is a kind of a strange little video today. It's another wee unboxing, but of a different kind. Um, as you know, we're basically all still in lockdown. We can't really do much. So I've been trying to get a hold of some bits and pieces for when I am able to do some things. Uh, this is in a previous video that I'm hoping to go to Portugal for to uh, visit our boat after a long absence. Unfortunately, Portugal is well and truly locked down at the moment. But I found a wee few things. Uh, one was on uh, free ads. It was a little GoPro Hero. It's one that, I think it's the first one that actually came out. It's the GoPro 3 or whatever. Mm, yeah, GoPro 3 it is. Yeah. Oh, I believe. Anyway, um, it wasn't very expensive, so I thought I would have a go at, at that um, to see if I can catch some decent videos when I'm in Portugal and of course sailing the boat back so it came with the the waterproof shroud that it goes into unfortunately a lot of the parts was missing there was no parts to clip it with there was another waterproof shroud but it only come with this and I'm not actually sure if anyone knows how you use this part please leave a comment I would love to know because at the moment this one is kind of not much good to do anything but since I paid so little for the the camera, when when I say little, uh, I think it was twenty five euros for the camera and the and the waterproof shower, so I wasn't too bothered. I went on Amazon and found this. Open it off screen so you don't see knives. Right, mm, looks pretty good. This was under 30, 30 euros. It's uh, Neil R 50 in one. It's an action camera accessory kit. Right, I'll just shift the camera a bit. Right, uh, no. New there. No, I'll I'll leave a link um, probably down there or down there for for this. Um, I'm just going to have a look through it. Uh, okay, this is a this is a bag of the mounts, which is really what I needed mostly. It has the bolt and, and the screws and stuff. Oh, I think that's. For fastening, tightening the nuts. Oh, that's the clip. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. So that's all the clips and bolts. So at least I can fasten the camera to something. That I believe is a head strap for if you want to put the camera on your head. Yeah, it could be handy, I suppose, when I'm doing some of the jobs. Oh, and a suction cap. Quite. Not quite sure how you're supposed to use this this box that it comes in because it has got compartments cut out, but how you're actually supposed to put them in the compartments I don't know. This is an extension for if you're having it on a head mounted camera. Oh, that's a spring clip. This would be handy if I'd have been using this just now. So that you can clip this oh it's quite tight to to something. Seems good, good enough quality. More. Oh, that's a bicycle clip. You can fasten it on handlebars, and there's obviously more nuts and bolts for fastening. And that's a wrist strap, I believe. Sticky pads. Oh, a strap, just so you can keep a hold of it. Tripod. A little tiny tripod. Let me have a look. No. Um. I'm not a hundred percent convinced it's the best quality, but for what I paid, I only really wanted it just to get the, the brackets so I could mount it to anything. So that's actually very handy. Chest, chest harness. Oh, more clips, so that you can fasten it to flat surfaces or whatever. 
float. That might come in handy because the amount of things that I had dropped overboard, uh, I must have more pliers and spanners and screwdrivers under the boat than I have on them at the moment. So that would co that could come in handy for me. That's another strap. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's actually a head strap. Not the situation. A bag. I'm carrying stuff in. And <laughs> one of my one of my least favourite things in the whole world. This is a selfie stick, but actually it seems pretty stable. It's uh, you know that's oh wow. That I would say is good quality. Tell you better after I've used it a few times, but that actually seems good. Now my the reason why it's not one of my most favourite things is I used to always say anyone that you see using a selfie stick, you should take it off of them and beat them with it. But since I've started doing a lot more YouTube videos where you can actually see me in it, that would probably, I don't know if it's good or not, but anyway, it's, uh, yeah, anyway, that's that part. The next, next unboxing. This is made in China, as just about everything these days. These are foot pedals. You probably, if anyone, if you've seen a, a sewing machine, you'll have seen these, but these aren't the, the speed control pedals. These are just a straightforward on, off. Now, if you've seen a previous video I made of making um, a foam cutter, a hot wire foam cutter, I want this so that I've got more control. I can set everything up, switch on, cut the foam, switch off. That's the reason why I got this. And they actually came as a pair for less than you could buy others on the market with the, for just one. Again, from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. So if you're interested in anything that I've purchased, I don't mind if you, if you want to copy me or buy anything from Amazon through my affiliate link, because that way I might get a penny or two from Amazon back, but I doubt it very much. But anyway, that's that's another thing I bought. That's for a future project. As soon as the weather changes a little bit, because we're under about six inches of snow here at the moment, and I don't feel like working outside. Next little it's good about these things. You don't have to use a knife, so I don't get complaints. Oh, I got a bag of air. Anyone want to buy a bag of air? No. no. That's what I got. I know what these are. This is for a future project when I do finally get to go to Portugal and visit my boat. Um, when the weather gets really, really warm, the battery compartment gets very warm. So what I intend to do, this is a, what is the thermostat? And this comes complete with the thermistor and you, it's very easily set up and again very very cheap from Amazon but what I want to do is set these with the probe in my battery box that's just straightforward power in 12 volts and that's straightforward power out 12 volts so what I intend to do is have that set up so that when the temperature and my battery box reaches a certain temperature that will switch on a fan. I'm just going to use um, one of the larger fans out of the out of a computer. You, you get the small ones and you get the larger ones. I'm going to use a larger one and make a, a hole so that when that turns turns it on it will vent the batteries because uh, I am also in planning on updating my batteries. Uh, when we left Portugal I dumped all my old batteries because they were kind of knackered and uh, decided to buy new ones when I come back. So what I've decided is I put solar into my garage for to feed my trailer and I decided then to buy an extra battery and I bought a 12 volt ba um, lithium battery 100 amps so I'm going to use that as my power for the the everything else that you run in the boat and I'm going to put a normal battery one for the starting and for controlling the charge. I'll charge that through a DC to DC inverter 
which keeps all of the batteries in good condition. I also have a smart battery charger, so that, that should help. Anyway, um, keep, keep liking, keep subscribing. Uh, don't forget to follow. And if you hit the, the bell button, whenever I do manage to get back to the boat, then you'll be able to see the rest of my videos um, for what we're actually doing on the boat. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. If you do, don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps on the horse. And if you're feeling really flush, click the Patreon button. That'd be good. Anyway, no props. See you again soon. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Bye for now. Uh, a strange little what really. This was under 30 euros. Don't forget.